Hôm nay mình đi ăn đám cưới của con người bạn Bây giờ mình đã tới cái nhà hàng rồi à, Mình để mình quay cái cái phong cảnh ở đây Năm giờ tối á, tại vì mùa đông á, thì mình thấy nó trời nó mau tối á Cái này mà mùa hè á, chắc đẹp lắm á everyone come on make some noise for a final party
It's going to be a huge, huge signing. Two. Shortly, we are going to have a little bit of entertainment as well. Hopefully, in the next five or ten minutes. Thanks, everyone. Talk again soon.
Good, all right. It's gonna be on three, the bright side first. One, two, three. The groom side, let's see how crazy the groom side is. On three. One, two, three. Well, well, let me say this. <laughs> Simon, your first decision is a married man. Let's just make sure, let's make sure it's not your last decision. Who won? Tell me who won. I think he said a draw. Is that what you said, a draw? He meant, he said the right side, but as he said right, he said it's a draw. All right, give him a round of applause, everyone. siblings and hold their hands and walk them home. We, would, we, would, we were dependent on him to be there for his siblings and he never let us down. I remember when Simon was about four years old and me and his mum had to go somewhere and he stayed home and I told him, sit down and watch Power Rangers. He used to love Power Rangers. And don't open the door for anyone, and we will be home in a couple of hours. He said, yes, Dad. And we trusted him to stay home and do exactly that. So we came home, and he's still in the exact same spot where we left him. He made me laugh so much when he asked me, Dad, can I go to the toilet now? And I said, what do you mean? Of course you can. You were allowed to walk around, Simon. But he stayed in the chair. <laughs> My boy stayed and sat there, didn't even go to the toilet. He always was the most well-mannered and sweetest boy you'd know. He comes in the room and all you notice is his beaming smile and his infectious happiness. And he always, the first person to greet me at the door and ask how work was. I think we all agree that we are blessed to have Simon and I'm going to miss seeing his smile around the house, his shit singing and witnessing his independence. I know he will make Angie happy and I know that their marriage will last a lifetime. To the newlyweds, congratulations and love you both. amazing venue to celebrate the wedding of our beautiful daughter Angie and her new husband Simon. In particular, a warm welcome to Simon's parents Peter and Vicky. As a, fa as a father, there's nothing more important than to see your children are happy. Seeing Angie grow into this beautiful, intelligent and respectful woman is the greatest achievement a parent could have ever hoped for. 
You are always considerate of others and amazing support to your sister and the wonderful auntie to Christian and Alice, our grandchildren. Louise and I have had the pleasure of witnessing Angie and Simon's relationship develop over the last four years and I'm so excited to be here today to now celebrate their wedding and look forward to sharing in the many milestones ahead. Thanks everyone for coming and I hope you enjoy the night. And All right, well done, beautiful words. They, they do get speeches, Brad, bridesmaids and... For those that don't know me, Simon and I have been best friends for eight years. Brisbane, Maitland, and of course the Shire. Yeah. So for those who don't know our love story, it started back in 2014. I was in the market for a new TV, so I planned to go to the JB Hi-Fi for a little browse. I was immediately attended to by this olive-skinned, bubbly, sweet sales assistant, it was a bit full on, but we ended up chatting and laughing for about an hour. And towards the end, I found the TV that I wanted and managed to get a little discount. However, it came at a cost. A discount in exchange for my number. I do love a bargain, so how could I say no? Now, a few days on, I was left with multiple missed calls and texts asking to hang out. Now, I thought it was a bit weird at first, but I agreed. We continued to hang out for a few weeks, and before, and before I knew it, I was introduced to the family. Things were moving super quick. But Mr. Peter Mav, thank God I gave you my number, because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have met Angie, and we wouldn't be here right now. And I wouldn't be standing in front of you all, marrying the girl of my dreams. So, cheers to Pete. <laughs> However, do not be fooled. Being introduced to Angie was just the start of a six year journey to make her my girlfriend. It wasn't easy. Countless hours of being Peter and Danny's third will, hoping in she would come along. <laughs> Endless strategizing, planning, and often failing. When Angie and I were planning our June wedding, we were concerned about the rain. So thank God the sun came out today. I'm forever grateful for all the sacrifices you've made to give me and my brothers and sisters the opportunities we have in life today. The lessons you've taught me will remain with me for the rest of my days, especially around the importance of family. Though we didn't have all the fanciest things growing up, we had each other, which is the most valuable gift of all. And no matter, what, no matter where I go in life, I'll always remember where I came from. Now I know leading up to this day was difficult for you, knowing that your sons all grown up, but there are positives. One less mouth to feed, more stress levels declining, and finally a little bit more, uh, a little more peace and quiet. But I can assure you that even though it may seem that I've got it all figured out, I'll always need my mum and dad. Now to my brothers and leading up to this wedding, all I can think about is how time has just gone by. When we were younger, we'd spend most of our weekends either watching cartoons, trying new wrestling moves on each other, or dad asking us for help in the backyard. He'd say, relax, it'll just take you two minutes and then we spent a full day's worth of intensive labour outside. <laughs> a, week ago, a week ago, we were practising Greek dancing uh, in the lead up to the wedding. I had a thought to myself, the last time we would have all held hands was when we... Once again, today in Pro Laughter, may your life be filled with health, happiness, love and laughter. Once again, give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Lotus, everyone. <laughs> Escort your beautiful bride to the dance floor.
đẹp quá ha bây giờ mấy giờ vậy con mười giờ rồi đó bây giờ mình về nhà